welcome back to my channel, Fabby TV. It's me, Fallon Brown. You already know I'm coming through with life changing discussions, lifestyle, vlogs, all the above. But today is more of a discussion. Um, I kind of want to give you some tips on how to become a high value person. Um, we often see, you know, high value, soft um, living, all of these things that they try to, um, you know, conger up for the next movement, for the movement. But um, the reality of things is you need to have value, right? Honestly, you are already a value. If you are a living entity and if there's air inside of your lungs, you are a value to someone. But the truth of the matter is we have to learn how to walk in our value, how to appreciate us as a wholeness, right? To be valued, to have somebody else look at you and say, I need and want what they have. So I just want to make sure that before we do anything, before we discuss anything, that you understand that you are you are of value anything that you have to offer it is value and people need it but i had titled this how to become high value how to be high value because sometimes we don't really know how to market ourselves how to walk in our gifts right there are some things that god has placed inside of us that the world needs like for me um i am a published author right but i'm a teacher i'm a teacher of the word of god uh, many call me Pastor Fowl. I pastor a whole internet church. Um, we do have services that come on here on YouTube as well. If you look up Pray to Slay Ministries, the link will be in the description. You can find our church, right? But I bring value. I teach people how to live in Christ. I teach people how to live in the scriptures, right? Um, I'm an entrepreneur. I have credit courses. I sell books, right? But the, but the truth of the matter is, no one will ever come to me to buy anything from me or even to listen to any of my sermons if they didn't sense some type of value, if I didn't carry um, some type of um, something in me that they feel is valuable for them to glean off of me. So I just want to give you about five tips. I'm not going to keep you long. Um, many of you may take notes. I have notes here because I wrote it down because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't talking too much off the top of my head. I really wanted to be intentional on Harry, how I carried myself and how I became high value. Um, I have made a lot of money um, or for things that I have done. I do have um, an event coming up sh um, soon. I'll make sure I give you guys all the information on that. I do have an event coming up where I'll be teaching people, you know, how I made six, seven figures online outside of ministry, right? But in order for me to be able to make that kind of money, in order for me to be able to have that type of door be open to me, right? I had to become valuable. You know, I have had some um, people um, pay me as much as $10,000 in one session just because I have taught them how to be high value. And the only way that you can get somebody to drop their earned income, hard working money. They had to see some type of value in me. And, um, I just want to, I just want to teach you these jewels that I learned along the way. And I feel like each one teach one. Some of us, we learn things and we learn how to master things. And, you know, we want to, you know, um, hold it to ourselves or, or we feel like everything has to be sold. And I know they say the game should be sold, not to be told, but true People that are valuable, that know um, the ends of out, how to be high value, have learned that some things you got to give away. You got to give away. And when you're a valuable being, when you have wisdom, you're never going to run out. Come on, somebody. You don't have to be afraid to bless somebody and give somebody knowledge because you're never going to run out when you, when you walk in wisdom. So now I just want you to understand that to become high value, um, doors will be open to you, financial blessings and honor. Everything that I told you that has happened to me, but since I have tapped into becoming a high value asset woman, right? Doors have been open. Honor is um, people, you know, honor me. They say that I'm wise and this and that. When I open my mouth, people listen. Why? Because I became high value. So the first thing that you want to do when you're trying to become high value is you want to learn and master the art of solving a problem. Anybody that is high in value knows how to solve a solution to a problem. 
you are the answer to whatever anybody needs. Once you learn how to master the art, I cannot stress this enough. Once you learn how to master the art of answering questions, solving people problems, you will have financial breakthrough after financial breakthrough. You will be looked upon after looked upon. In fact, Solomon, you know, I'm a pastor. I told you in the beginning, he was one of the wisest men that walked this earth. And the Bible says that he was a high value man. How, how do you know? They didn't say it straightforward, say high value, but they said he was filled with wisdom. That people, the queen and all of these people from all over the world would come to sit at his feet to get understanding and, to, and people would come to him so he can solve solutions. He learned them how to master being high value. To become high value, you must master solving problems. You must be the answer to people's questions. Whatever problem somebody has, you should, you should be the solver. Number two, you want to be set apart. You want to be different. Most valuable people are assets. They're not a liability. And we have learned that even when you go to stores, right, the most expensive thing or certain things that might not be even too expensive, but they're valuable, they're always set apart from things that are regular. They're always set apart um, for mediocre things. In order for you to become high value, you got to be okay with being different. You got to be okay with going against the grain. When the whole crowd is doing one thing, you're doing another. A high value person always walks the narrow path. You want to be rich? You want to be successful? You want to be at the top of the ladder? You got to live like nobody else lives. You got to do what nobody else does. In fact, for me to be a successful preacher and teacher, living the word of God, I got to do just that. I got to live the word. And a lot of people talk it but they're not living it and that's what brings the difference number three don't be moved by competition i cannot stress this do not be moved by competition when you seeing somebody moving in your arena most people get jealous they get intimidated but a wise person a person worth value they get inspired they will start looking and comparing things and saying hmm what are they offering that i'm not offering you see what i'm saying do you see how you see how perspective see when you are walking in the field of wisdom and you become high value, your perspective is different. So with, a, with the average person would get upset about what the average person will be mind boggled about a person with wisdom of high value would look at it as an opportunity. Like most people, when the stock market is crashing, you know, many people will get nervous. They start pulling out money, but people of high value that understand wealth, that understands the opportunity of wealth. They actually start putting in more. They keep their stock intact because they know from a crash is only one way to go. And that's up. Come on, somebody. So you don't want to be moved by competition. Competition is healthy. It gives you room to grow. Remember that. And it also gives you free access to assess whatever you're not offering. If you have somebody moving in your arena, look to see what they're offering. Be like, okay, I might be offering this, but I'm not offering that. You understand what I'm saying to you? Number four. <laughs> I love this, as you can see. Keep up with yourself. Health is wealth. I don't care how much value you have, how affluent you are. If you are not healthy, you will not last to be able to live and enjoy the notoriety, the money, the fame, and all of these things will come with being high value. You have to understand health is wealth. You have to understand you can't eat everything under the sun that got all of these sweets, especially we getting old. I know me, I'm pushing 40 now. I know I don't look it, but I am. I got to be mindful of them. things that I could eat at 20 and 18 and 10, I can't eat now at 40, right? So you just want to be mindful. You want to understand that health is wealth. You want to understand that you have to take care of you. You have to take care of your parents. You got to make sure that your hair is calm, that your, your, your breath ain't stinking. How can you bring value to somebody and you got to, and your mouth is tart? They don't, they like, whoa, I don't even want to hear what you got. You could, you could have as much wisdom, you know, that they need that breath stinking and they smell you before they see you. They're going to be like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> So you want to make sure that you understand keeping up with yourself. Appearance is everything. Health is wealth. I'm not saying you got to look like a million bucks because you got some people like uh, the guy who you know owns Facebook and some of these other people, Jeff Bezos and them, they're not walking around with millions of dollars of worth of jewelry and things of like that. But I also understand that 
things are cultural, right? Um, the African American community, you look at before, you know, even before slavery days, you know, um, our ancestors, they had diamonds and jewels and uh, that's our culture. So we, I understand that certain things are cultural, right? But in it all, you just want to be presentable, right? I'm not saying you got to have on millions of dollars worth of clothes, but you want to be presentable. You want to look approachable so someone can even um, consider what you're trying to tell them, okay? And number five, last, but not least, because I can go on and on, but this is just um, some basics, right? I can go, comment down below if you would like for me to go more in depth, but this is just some basic things just to get you on a roll to becoming high value. And number five, put yourself out there. It kind of goes hand in hand with number four, with appearance, but put yourself out there. Who's going to know who you are if you don't? We are living in a digital age. Start the YouTube channel. I don't care. I don't have thousands of followers yet, but even if it's just that one you inspire, all you need is one. And then that one person will tell somebody and they'll tell somebody and they'll tell somebody. See, people undermine the value of one. And that's what Remember, it goes back to perspective. That's all in being high value. When you have wisdom and discernment and you know your worth, you, you know that you are valuable, you understand the power of one. Understand the power of one. Put yourself out there. Write the book. Start the blog. Um, start the social media page. You know, my kids was like, listen, you know, you bring it forth this teaching and stuff like that. And I think you need to do TikTok. Me personally, I felt like I had too much social media. I was like, this Instagram is this, it's Facebook, blah, 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 blah. But I listen. That's another thing. People that are high valuable, it goes back with um, number three, don't be moved by competition. You don't mind listening. You will forever be a student. When you are a, when you are a value, you are forever a student. You are forever learning. That's why when I say don't be moved by competition and I was saying that you can look at them and glean, that's learning. Always be quiet to learn. When you have value, you are forever a student. I cannot stress that enough. So you want to put yourself out there. Now, look, I listen to the children and we have like 11.5 thousand people and keep growing every day on TikTok. And, um, our, you, our, um, Facebook is growing and our YouTube channel and the ministry is growing and this channel foul BTV is going to, is going to be growing as uh, much as possible as well. Why? Because I'm bringing forth value. Anything that you do solve a problem. Somebody's going to click on here. That's going to see the title and say, I need to learn how to add value to myself, right? How to add value to yourself, how to have, how to add value to yourself how to be, how to become high value. All of these things, all of these things are in one and people want to learn how to become successful. But what people are failing to realize is success is an inner thing. It's always a mental thing. It's always self-development. And then all of these doors open. I had to become a speaker. I had to become a teacher. I had to read the Bible, understand the Bible, walk with God before I can ever become somebody's teacher. I had to learn and fix my own credit and get a perfect score at 811 before I started on my business and taught people how to do credit. Link will be in the description if you want to learn how to do credit. They are changing some um, credit laws, so you want to try to dispute as many things things as possible as now. I had to step out of my comfort zone and write the book and publish the book. I published my own book. So this way I cut out the middleman and put it on Amazon and put it on my own website and made my own money. And I'm still eating today. I wrote my first book y'all five years ago. And I'm still eating today off that same book. And since then I wrote another book. So you have to put yourself out there. You cannot be afraid. This is not the time to be acting or shy. Listen, even if it's just starting the channel, nobody is right here with me. It's just me in the camera and now you that you're watching. But guess what? I just started. And then the people will come. Trust God to send the people. Luke chapter 5 verses 6 talks about how they were out there toiling all night trying to get fish. And Jesus said, let out your net. And they let out their net and they bought for so much fishes that they had to call other people, their partners. And they both begin to sink because they had so many fish. That's what God is trying to do for us. That's what, you know, people like to be like, oh, the universe. We don't serve the universe. We serve the creator over here that establishes the universe. But you want the world to open up to you. You got to present yourself. You got to present yourself. So make sure you're putting yourself out there. Listen, 
I really enjoyed this. I love what I do. I love that I get to, um, you know, tell people what's inside my head, show people the things that I implemented in my life to become successful. And now I have a whole brand. Fallon Brown Pray to Slay Ministries is a brand and it's because I learned how to become valuable. And every, listen, remember what I said in the beginning, each and every one of you, you are valuable. There is something that you got that the world needs. We just need you to don't be afraid to share it. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you click the notification bell so you know when I will be on. And comment down below if you want me to add more to this.